gifts. Um, well, tonight I want to show you something amazing. Do two of the things that I love the most. Toys that are puzzles that activate imagination. Hi, what's your name? Yeah. Mike. Um, Mike, could you please show me up on stage? Give it up for Mike. Give it up for Mike, everybody. Now what I want you to do is um, you're going to try and mix this Rubik's Cube as much as you want. I'll explain to these guys what's going to happen. Is that okay? Right. Just mix it up as much as you want. Now magic is all about creating random moments in time that make us all go, wow. Tonight I want to recreate some of those moments, starting with the cube that might be in There are multi millions of combinations and no one could ever predict exactly I like to keep it end up in mix. Come on, let's keep showing the Now, um, we want to mix that cube one more time. Now, what I didn't tell you is that these cubes actually match. Watch. Sign number one matches. Sign number two matches. Sign number three, matches. Sign number four, matches. Sign number five, matches. And you're not going to believe this, but sign number six, matches as well. Thank you. Now, now what? You mix this cube up yourself, didn't you? Yeah, you mix this cube up yourself. Now, um. This cube is going to solve in a very special way at the count of three. One, two, three. And you can see. Okay. Now maybe you thought I cheated. So I'll do as I mix the cube up. Now uh, Mike, are you happy that this cube is mixed? That cube is mixed, yeah? Now I'm going to put this cube behind my back. And when I say go, I want you all to count to ten like this. One, two, Three, four, okay, you get it? So when I say, um, when I say go, I'm gonna put the cube behind my back and I'll do this one hand. Come on, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Go, go. There's no, there's no point counting. I'm, I'm done. No, Mike, Mike, there's one last thing I want to do. Now there's only one way to make this better. And if that's Mike solves the cube behind his back himself. You look worried. Have you ever solved the cube behind your back yourself? It's fine, it's fine. Mike, have you ever solved it in front of you? To me, no. Mike, do you want a Rubik's Cube? Do you want one? At least you know what a Rubik's Cube is. We'll take that, we'll take that. But Mike, if you. I'll give you, looks like I'm going to give her, uh, had to give Mike a little crash course on how to solve Rubik's Cube. If you stand behind me, I'll show you all you want to do. You're quick mix, like this. Now Mike, all you've got to do is, uh, you've got to turn the cube like that. So you do, so just turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Give it one of those, and turn it one last time. You got it? Yeah, so you, you gotta try and remember that. So if you stand where I was standing, I'll give you the cube. Okay, so Mike's gonna take the cube. Here you go. Here you go. Take the cube and start to turn it, okay? Perfect. Just like that. Now, when he pulls it out, it can be sold, it can be mixed, it can be in any plastic. Now, Mike, whenever you want, say stop, keep the cube behind your back, but stop turning it. Stop. You sure? Yeah. There? Okay. Now, as I said, when he pulls that cube out, it could be sold, it could be mixed, it could be in any pattern. But if the cube is sold, the audience will give you a big round of applause. Not for me, but for you. Mike, take the cube out. Is it sold? Yes, it's sold. Give it up for Mike, everyone.